Welcome to the next tutorial to line distortion. Line distortion is a way to take your medium, whatever your medium may be, whether it's a photograph, an animation, or something otherwise. Uh, it takes that particular thing and slices it up and creates a distortion. The distortion uh, basically is randomly generated. The, the, the lines are randomly sliced. Um, using a grayscale kind of uh, option uh, behind the scenes. Uh, so that's this is how it kind of functions and looks. Um, you have the option to make it vertical or horizontal. You also have the option to change the cut amount of uh, lines that you want it sliced into uh, to create this kind of you know uh, visual look. Um, you have the option to change where the how much distortion is added. Uh, this distortion, can, as it, as it is uh, increased, you'll be able to see the line of your artwork. So if you have something that goes across the entire screen, there'll be some issues there. Um, but in, in most cases, it's not too much of an issue if you're just doing a little bit of a, a distortion. It's when you do a lot of distortion that you actually physically will see the, the end in the beginning of the distortion in some cases. Uh, depending on how this, the distortion is set up. So for example, in this particular case, uh, this is not so obvious, it's not as crazy obvious, but there are certain cases where if your colors, your contrast of colors from the edge on the left is darker or brighter than the edge on the right, uh, that may cause issues with the distortion. You may be able to see the, the edge of the distortion. In some cases, that may not be a big thing. You may That may be what you want. Also, there are some other options here. Uh, being able to change the colors. So for example, in this one, there's a thin line, a thin pink line, um, but there may be cases where you want that line to be even thicker. Uh, you might also want to give it some distortion. So I've also added in a line feedback that basically just feeds that, that pink line in on itself and creates this kind of jutted, uh, this, this over, uh, exposed area. So I thought that was visually interesting and there may be cases where you might want that a little bit more. So for example, here's an example of the uh, lines going horizontal. There's this orange band uh, and you'll notice that it's kind of uh, creating these kind of static areas where the distortion is just blowing itself out. So that's pretty much it. Um, just some you know quick examples. Uh, here's an example of uh, this is a, a diamond kind of shape with the line to distortion without the line showing up. Uh, and the reason being is because the, the, um, the amount of the line is turned down all the way, the line size. Uh, if I increase that, you'll be able to see the line. But in this case, we don't want the line. And it just kind of gives you an example. It just shakes back and forth, right? You can also make it vertically if you wanted to um, or horizontally, of course. Um, so that was the premise behind this is just something that easily kind of gives it this kind of um, distorted look. Like all of the newer projects that I've been working on, there's options for, uh, you know, the three different things. Uh, transport beat, which is to the time of your tapped beats of your music. Um, or you have the option for metronome, which is set to, a you know, like a, a set speed. Um, you can make it really, really slow. Um, or you could make it really, really fast. It's up to you. You have the option to do so. Um, also, there's the option for just trigger if you wanted it to just trigger on your own kind of de uh, decisions when you wanted that to be triggered. That's pretty much it. Uh, questions, comments, complaints, concerns, please give me an email. My email address is Jacob Misick, J A C O B M E S I C K, at gmail.com. Thank you for your interest in my uh, project here, and uh, you be sure to have a good day.